All right, the Bouge RV 48 amp EV charger. They sent this to me to test out. And this thing right here is pretty good if you have a solar system because it's adjustable amps. It's got the 25 foot cord on it. You know, you can see the cable is pretty thick. It's a good thickness on it. So I think it's the only one on Amazon. It's the highest rated amp, uh, 48 amps. It goes from 10, uh, 16, 24, 32, and I think 40 and 48 amps that you can select. And basically at the max output, it can do 11.52 kilowatts an hour. So that's what it can add to your battery. Even if your vehicle doesn't have a charger that charges that fast, you can set it at 48 amps and your onboard charger on your vehicle is going to charge it as fast as it can. I think mine is 6.6 .6 kilowatts an hour. And you can also schedule uh, to charge off peak time. So if you want to charge at night when your electricity is cheaper, you can schedule that with this thing. You use the app set it up whatever time you want it to charge to save you some money and of course you can monitor status with the lcd display right here on the charging uh, unit itself and it comes with a 25 foot cable so if you have this thing set up in your garage it will reach outside you got plenty of length you're not gonna have to worry about that and when you get this thing it's gonna come in a a, a, a box and it's gonna have a nice carry handle bag on it and then i'll go ahead and show you some of the accessories that come with it it's gonna come basically with a it's gonna come basically with a manual it'll come with a holder for the charging brick you can go ahead and mount that to your wall and it also comes with a holder for your cord so you'll be able to mount the cord just plug it right in here and it'll hang on the wall and of course i've already been testing this thing out but we're going to go ahead and plug it in and show you what it'll do and you'll be able to go right on your phone and it doesn't work off your home wi-fi it has its own wi-fi so basically you go on your phone go select the bouge rv Let's go ahead and get my phone recording. Basically, you go right on your phone, select the Bouge RV uh, Wi-Fi, and then you go on the back of your charger. It's going to give you the, the, the numbers 192.168.4.1 is mine. So you can look at your, your information. So let's go ahead and show you what it does on the app. You can select the mode, select 10 amps, 16, 24, 32, 40, or even 48. So let's go ahead and select the max. And see what this thing will do. And we'll go ahead and plug this charger in, and I'll show you that even though this is rated for 11.52 kilowatt hours, my car won't do that with the onboard charger, but it'll go to the max it has. Go ahead and plug it in. And bam, right here on the app, it's already up to 29.2 amps or 6.6, 6.7 kilowatt hours. So to keep adjusting that with the onboard charger, it's only gonna let 6.6 .6 go through. And of course, I got my whole house running on solar. So this 50 amp plug that I got plugged in is coming off of solar. That's why the voltage has dropped a little bit. It's 226 because the course is not going to be as stable as the grid power. And as you can see, I could have set my charging time, you know, the start time, how long it charged for. And if you want to make a change, basically you're going to have to pull the charger out of the car and stop it charging. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And we'll be able to go in here and select, let's say, 10 amps. Let's say you got a lot of running on solar like I am. You're running a bunch of stuff on your house. You might only want it to run at 10 amps so it doesn't pull all the power from your inverters. So that's the one reason I wanted this charger. I contacted them. They offered to send this thing out to me for free. So that's why we're doing some testing because I wanted one like this. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And as you can see right there, we went up to 10 amps or 2.3 kilowatt hours coming out. And so if you're using uh, your solar, you know, my inverters that I have right now, the three grow watts, they're only gonna put out 15 kilowatt hours at a time. So pulling 2.3, I can still run pretty much everything else on my house and not gonna have a problem. With my other charger, I have a 30 amp and a 50 amp. So the 30 amp, I think it was pulling normally about 3,600 watts. So I'm definitely saving some power that I can use for other things on my house. All right, and then I'll go ahead and show you a few other things that's on the app here. You go up to the settings. You know, it has an auto start feature, or you can turn that off and just start it with the app. And then it has a PE detect, basically a ground. So like I was trying to charge the other day, if you watch my other video with my little mobile system, and it doesn't have a ground on it, the other cable I have that would plug into the 50 amp charger, it wouldn't charge because there's no ground. So you can turn this ground off. So it won't be looking for that ground and it'll still charge 
you know you can reach you can look at your history how much you've charged you can you can clear your history you can change your password or you can do like a factor to reset let's hit the back button go back and you can see we're going to go ahead and charge it plug it in again and go up to 16 amps let's see what it shows and at 16 amps as you can see pulling 3.8 kilowatt hours so you know this is pretty much what my other charger my other level two the the smallest charger i have the 30 amps you know this is what it was pulling most of the time the 3.8 kilowatts so you're definitely going to save over a kilowatt that i can use for something else with my inverters and let's go ahead and start this thing back all right start the screen recording back all right i got it on 24 amps now and we're going to go ahead and see what the the 24 amps pulls in as you can see up to 5.7 kilowatts so just depending on how fast you want to charge your car you know if you're using solar it's good to have an adjustable charger but if you're on your house and you're on the grid and you want to set it in the middle of the night you want it to go as fast as possible if you're uh on a different electricity rate at night than you are in the middle of the day so to be cheaper at night so you want to charge it faster so you put up that 48 amp and it's going to do 11.52 kilowatt hours 11.52 kilowatts an hour and so that's pretty good for a, a, a charger that's non OEM. That's about as fast as you're going to get because most of your plugs are going to be 50 amps. And of course, they did have a sale going on. And we're going to go over to Amazon to see if that thing is still going on right now and when it may end because the day is a Cyber Monday. So the sale is probably still going on. I'm not sure exactly when it ends. It might be November the 30th or it might stop that day. So we're going to try to get that vi this video out today so you can get the discount. So right now, as you can see, the charger is two seventy nine dollars for the Cyber Monday deal. So hopefully, you know, it'll be that price for the next couple of days. Sometimes they leave these for a few days. And I'm going to go ahead and post a link. And they may even give me a discount code if they do that. I'm going to put that down in the description too. I'm pretty sure they're going to send me one. They usually do with all their products. They send me a discount code. So like I said before, this is a 48 amp charger. You need the NEMA 1450 plug basically the 50 amp plug you know on the on the side of your house for your ev charger or inside your garage or wherever you have it so if you're interested in this charger i'll leave the link and the discount code below and if you like this kind of video go ahead hit that subscribe button hit the like button and thanks